In this video, we will be taking a look at some more basic AutoCAD commands. I went ahead and opened a new drawing using the TD template. And I'm going to start by drawing three pieces of line so that it kind of forms part of a box. I will be using the mirror command to make the other half of this box. The mirror command is located in the modify menu. I went ahead and expanded that and the icon is located right here. I'm going to left click one time take a look down here in the command line and it says mirror meaning I just selected the mirror command and it wants me to select objects so I'm going to go ahead and select all of my three pieces of line take a look back down in the command line and it wants me to select more objects well I'm done selecting objects so to tell AutoCAD that I'm done selecting objects, I'm going to push enter on my keyboard. And now it says for me to specify the first point of the mirror line. So I'm going to come up here and select my top point of my box down in my command line. Now it says to specify the second point and I'm going to pull it down towards the bottom now as I do this you can see that mirror line and where that object is going to be mirrored based upon because I'm making a box or a rectangle I want to select my lower point now it disappeared so I need to read down in my command line it says do you want to erase the source objects meaning those first three lines well no I don't want to so I'm gonna type in no and hit enter and that created or it mirrored the other half of my rectangle now I do want to point out that that mirror line it's very important that you pick the correct locations so for example if I go through those same procedures to mirror this and it, now it says select my first point if I select a point out in the open it's going to mirror based on that point out in the open and you can see that dashed mirror line so it's going to leave me a big gap there between my two objects that I'm mirroring so sometimes you have to think a little bit through what exactly you're wanting it to mirror and where you want the other half of that object to be if let's say for example this is the size the width of my box that I want when I select just the left side and then I mirror that based on the center point of my line then I can complete that box so you really just have to kind of think through it the next thing we're going to take a look at is layers in AutoCAD we have a layers menu located up here now if you are using the TD template and you expand your layer menu you'll notice that I have preloaded a bunch of different layers that are commonly used and what I want you to do is draw a line using every single one of these layers now to select a different layer we just hit that down arrow we find which one we want 
and we left click one time so this one's on borderline and now that layer is selected and we can come down here and draw a line let's come down here and do a center line then we have a construction line cutting plane line uh, def points line we have a dimension line all of the drawings that we're going to be doing will have dimensions on it and eventually you're going to be putting those dimension lines on here we have an object line phantom line there we go. Viewport. And lastly, a visible line. So we have lots of different layers. And each layer is called something different. Now you'll also notice that the lines associated with each layer are colored different some of them have dashes uh, some of them are if we zoom in here are lots of little dashes this green one here we have a long dash and a little dash that will become more important down the road but for right now I want you to be aware that there's lots of different layers much like if you've ever used Photoshop where you have multiple layers on a picture you can hide some of the layers so if I take a look at this very top line here it says that it is a cutting plane line if I expand my layer menu and I find that cutting plane line if I turn off the light bulb by clicking the light bulb it disappears it's still on the drawing it's just hidden I can come back to my layer menu click the light bulb again and it will turn that layer back on now when you do large drawings with multiple layers it is very very important to have those layers identified and to make sure the various components are in the correct layer. I'm going to jump over here to a drawing that I have previously done. Now this is the floor plan for a house and it looks like a lot of jumbled mess and if we zoom in real close you can see we have lots of different colors and symbols and markings. If I want to help clarify some of this I can come up here to my layer menu and as you can see there's lots of different layers and for example I can turn off the dimension lines and they, that helps clear stuff up perhaps I want to hide the electrical lines to help clear it up a little bit more so I can see what's going on so this is a good example of the need for many many layers so that you can really work through your drawings a lot quicker and maybe turn off something you're not working on so you can uh, have a little bit more ease working on something else so let's jump back to our drawing of all of the different lines we know that we have these set layers we know that they are different in their color they are different in that some of them have dashes and some of them look like they're solid lines but there is also another difference and that is the thickness that these lines will print out now sometimes you want to be able to see the thickness of these lines and to do that we need to come down here to the bottom right hand corner on our status bar we have a setting for customization 
I'm going to left click one time and I'm going to come up here to line weight and I'm going to select that line weight and what that did is that put a new icon located in our status bar down here at the bottom and if I click that that toggles the thickness of those lines so you can have a better idea of how thick they'll print out compared to other drawings. Now these lines aren't necessarily going to print out that thick but it helps you illustrate what lines are in what layer to help different layers stand out from each other. What it does tell us though is with this blue borderline that will print out a lot thicker than say this zero layer line. And that's just that toggle button at the bottom which is really helpful sometimes. Sometimes I'll leave that on for an entire drawing. Sometimes I'll never even use it for a drawing. It's, it just varies on the particular drawing I'm doing. The last thing I wanted to talk about is methods for selecting objects quickly. So far what we've done to select objects is we just click on them individually and it selects those objects. If we press escape it deselects the objects. If you have a drawing where you want to select a lot of objects at the same time, we're going to use Windows to help us select things a lot faster. So if I move my mouse up here towards the top left and I click one time and then I move it down to the bottom right, you'll notice that there is a blue window. If I encompass all of these lines inside of that blue box and left click one time again, it selects all of those lines. I'm going to press escape to deselect those. Again, I'm going to click top left, select all everything, bottom right, it selects those. Now what happens if you start at the top left and you come down to the bottom right so we have that blue selection window. If we do not totally encompass those lines inside of that box and we click, it doesn't select anything. This method will only select what is completely inside of the box. The other method is to start on the right and pull down to the left and you'll notice that is a green selection window. If I select all of my lines and click it selects them all. Escape to back out of that. Now with this one if I click up to the left and I do the same thing I did with the other where I'm only selecting part of the line and then I click again, it will still select all of those lines. With this green selection window, anything that is inside the green selection box or touching or passing through part of that, uh, if part of the line is inside of that box and part of it is outside, that will also get selected even if I have this line and I just do a teeny tiny little bit it's still gonna select the whole line. And using those methods will help speed things up on a drawing. Um, perhaps if you had a little tiny line underneath another line you could use a window to just select that little tiny bit of line and then delete that out of there. There's lots of different uses for it and as we progress through more drawings you'll find yourself using those functions more frequently. 
At this point, you should be ready to move on to the next drawing. Now, your hint for doing the next drawing is you only have to draw a fourth of the drawing, and you can use the mirror command to create the rest of the drawing without actually having to draw those lines.